G'day guys, how are you? And welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to answer a request that's been asked many times on many of my videos, um, in particular the access video and the SQL video. A lot of you guys are asking, look, hey Andrew, the video's great. We're wondering, how can we limit the amount of um, login tries um, that a user may do? So for example, if they try and log in three times and it's incorrect, then the account's locked or whatnot. So, I mean, there are many ways you can do this. Um, I'm gonna show you the quickest way, just for the sake of the video. Um, but what I'd probably do if I was going to spend more time on it is I would probably add a boolean to my database that has account locked and it's either true or false, it's either locked or it isn't. And if it was, like say if the user was to log in three times, it would lock the account in the database, which then you could make a new statement to see if the account is locked and if it's not, then continue. Um, but if it is locked, then you know contact um, system administrator and then it's up to the system admin to unlock the account. So um, that's what I'd probably do there. However, for the sake of the video, um, I'm just going to do a quick counter. So I'm going to make a, a attempt counter, I suppose. And uh, if the if they try and log in, you know, we're going to increment it by one. And if there's too many attempts, then it's just simply not going to work. So let's um let's begin. So the very first thing I'm going to do is I've just created a quick forum here, two text boxes, two labels, and one button. So let's double click on the button to generate the button click event. And here we are here. So what we're going to do straight away. So I'm going to declare my variables um, for the username. Now you should probably never, um, oops, you should never ever store um, your username um, in your source code. But just for the video, I'm going to do it. So that's going. To, my username is going to be Andrew. Please forgive me. I recently purchased a new mechanical keyboard, and I'm still getting used to it because I've been using the Microsoft um, keyboard that's kind of curved. And so I've just got to find my fingers again. All right, so we've got a dim username equals a, um, a string equals Andrew, dim password as a string equals um, password, of course. And then we're just going to have dim counter as integer. And we're going to start off from zero. So that will be pretty much our, our counter. And here are the details that we want the user to hopefully put in in order to continue to the next form. Okay, so for this particular way, I'm going to do a while loop. Um, so we're going to say, look, while the counter is lower or equal to two, which basically means we get three tries, I think. Yeah, three tries because it's starting from zero, and zero is a number, um, technically. Although some people might realize that zero is definitely a number. So while the counter is lower than two, let's write if um, textbooks one, textbooks one text equals username, and textbox two text equals password then I guess we could just do a little message box because this is this means it's worked and we'll just drink the format which means that I can add placeholders and I'll just write here welcome and whoever that may be but it will be the username welcome so that will be in this case it'll be Andrew since Andrew is the user and that'll be it. And what we're going to do from there, we can either, I'll write a comment here, go to another forum, or for this sake of the video, we can just re simply do return, which you probably won't need to do that, but I'm doing it in order to break out the loop. Okay, so I don't, it doesn't loop through three times and says welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay, so let's say that the user doesn't get the correct password. So we'll just do a little else. I don't really like else if, but yeah, it's there anyways else we can get a message box to show once again and let's write here login error and from here we can do counter equals counter which this is going to count plus one so a lot of people I've noticed is what they'll do is they'll, they won't declare the counter as a global one they'll put it in the button click so they'll say look you know counter equals zero or whatnot and this may this doesn't really work because every time you click on the button counter is going to default back to zero so you need it to be in the public one that way when you execute this button click it doesn't set the counter back to zero okay so that will do that um, once the counter has done zero, we're just going to return so that way we get the user, the user will get another chance to do it. Now, because I'm doing return methods here, this is going to break out of this code. Um, it should break out of it altogether, I believe. So what we can do from here is we can just say, look, um, if counter um, equals three, then we can just get a message box to show try and not use as many message boxes as what I'm doing, but yeah, we can get a message box or so, and we can just write two 
many logins, I guess, and then it will just go to default. So let's quickly see if our code works, and if not, we will have to debug it and see what the problem is. So let's press F5, and I'm just going to type in anything at this moment. I'm going to click login, and we have a login error. Now, from this point, you could probably do um, textless1.txt. Well, you could clear the text boxes, I think would probably be best. So textbox1.clear and textbox2.clear. No semicolons, this is let's say sharp. So once again, if we put in the wrong credentials, there's been a login error. Do it again, login error. And if we do it again, that should probably just about do it, I think. Too many logins. Too many logins. You could probably go one step further and say, well, look, if the counter is equal to three, you could disable the button. That would be another option for you guys. So you could just do button one dot disable, I think it is, or um, enabled actually, equals false. You could simply make the button equal false. And so on the fourth time, there's been too many logins, and there they know. Of course, you could probably make it so the button is disabled by the third one in here. So you could do an if statement right here. If the button, if the counter equals three, then you could disable from in there. But I mean, that's just one of many, um, the many options that you can do. And if we get the password, you know, God forbid we get the password right. Um, I pressed enter then, sorry. Welcome, Andrew. And the reason it says Andrew is because Andrew was a part of the, um, the username string, and I've just simply asked it to put it there if it gets it right. So there you go, guys. I hope this video has helped you. Um, if you have any questions, do leave a comment below. I usually try and answer as many comments as I can. Um, and yeah, happy coding, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.